Hey, people in the house, make some noise. Oh shit. Hey, that's pretty good for about six people. I appreciate that. That is really good, straight up. I appreciate you guys coming out. There's a lot of things going on today. And I appreciate you coming out, supporting the comedy. We got more artists that's coming in. But you know what? Your job is more important. I understand. Come on in when you can come on in and let's do this. But I appreciate you guys doing here. I really do. I really do. I do. We love you, Queen. Hey, I want y'all to give it up because I'm going to tell you something. You can make some noise. You can fart. You can order drinks. You can order food. You're going to be on camera. So pose, look good, because we have my dear friend that is here today to even make this event more special. His name is Xavier Woodson of Woodson Tech Media. I'm going to call him up here right now so you can tell everybody some of the things that he do. I have cars laid out out there. You need to get them cars because he will turn your wedding he will turn your backyard barbecue, he will even turn your shower into something memorable, straight up. Oh yes, very creative brother right there. Come on up here, Xavier. Give him a round of applause, everybody. How y'all doing? I need to say my name again. Uh, my name is Xavier Woodson. I am the founding founder of Listen Tech Media. Uh, Basically what I do is I do more likely fantasy photography and I like to do alter ego as well. And I do some video. Uh, fantasy photography pretty much transforming an individual into a work of art, what they want to be. So if you say, if a, you know, a lady come to me and says she want to be a cheetah or something like that. So we get the body paint, we paint her, all the costumes. And I don't never like to cut somebody out and put them on back of a, a, a background. I like to actually take them out there to a wilderness and look like a jungle where they can actually, you know, grab the dirt and stuff like that, make it believable. And I also do, we also do uh, photo restoration. We can restore any damage to your photo. We can replace, we can restore, we can uh, turn your faded back to original. We can even turn your black and white into color, however you want it. Uh, I do come out to events. I do, uh, take a lot of photographs at events. I've recently done a wedding in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, actually, my first wedding video, and I actually did that, I know I did that pretty well, because the bride, she just showed it off to everybody as soon as she got it. But uh, that's a little, little taste of what I do, and thank you so much for inviting me today. All right. All right, Xavier. Listen, I bet some of y'all never knew a black person was named Xavier. <laughs> but he right here. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. If you are pissed off about anything, it is so beneficial to get that shit off your chest. Am I right? All right. I have two things that's bugging me right now and I'm gonna get it off my chest. Whether you like it, can handle it, or not. The first thing is this, men, guys, I hate it when all of the guys think that all black girls can dance. That is not true. For I stand before you a beautiful chocolate girl, and honey, I can't do it. I can't. That's why when I go out in the clubs, I roll with my white girlfriends, baby. That's what I do. Uh-huh, you know why? Because all of us ain't got no booty. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it real, we ain't got no booty. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. The big girls with the big booties, they get in the club and they twerk. <laughs> I ain't got no booty, so me and the white girls, we tweet. <laughs> All right? They twerk, I tweak. But I don't got no shame, cause I still shake what my mama gave me. What? What? That's what's up. I shake what my mama gave me. But I'm gonna tell you something. Another thing that pissed me off is this. Ladies, Queens, Queens, make some noise. Woo! Let me tell you something that pissed me off. Have you ever had to use the bathroom so bad? You go in that bathroom and boom, take that door open. And some old drunk chick done, done did a lap dance all over the toilet seat. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Piss. Some old chick done pissed on the lap seat. I'm gonna tell you something. 
I ain't caught her ass yet. But when I do, I'ma kick your ass in your motherfucking face. That's some nasty shit right there. That's nasty. Let me tell you something about restrooms right now. They're nasty. Do you know why now the restrooms, they don't got those push button, dry your hands off no more. Now they got paper towels. You wanna know why? I'm gonna keep it real. Cause you grown in here, is you right? Is y'all grown? Yeah. I'ma tell you why. Cause the skank ass hoes, they go out and turn a trick. They dry their stuff off. No, no, not stuff. Stank, stank off. Then they come in there and they just <laughs> dry their shit off. Nasty. Nasty shit. If you have never been into a public restroom behind a hole, ooh, if, 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 is it any holes in here tonight? I, I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm serious as fuck. Check it out. Why do they call them restrooms? You know what? I'm gonna give it to you. Some of them restrooms is nice as hell. Some of them have couches, sofas, elegant as my living room, nigga. But who wants to go into a restroom, a public restroom, lay down and chill and smell somebody else's shit all day? Don't nobody do do that. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. Because the number one rule is this. Don't nobody want to go into a public restroom and see someone else's masterpiece floating around in the toilet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about shit, doo-doo, turd. Don't nobody want to see that. I'm going to tell you what to do. You grow on asses so you can handle it. That's what you do. If it's a masterpiece, I say take that shit home. Oh yeah. Put that shit on your mat on your on your on your mantle or your or, or your fireplace and let your family see how nasty your ass is. <laughs> that's what you do. That's what you do. But you know Miss Linda, that's Miss Linda walking around there working her butt off. She don't have to have a waist staff to work and do what she gotta do. So y'all give it up for Miss Linda. Cause Miss Linda is like family. You heard me? She like family. In fact, wait a minute. All of y'all is like family. You notice I said like family. Cause y'all asses probably got a job and you don't ask to borrow no money. You hear me? Cause I don't know if you know, but everybody, I don't give a fuck who you are. You can be rich or poor. You got a damn family member that's always talking about something. <laughs> Let me borrow. Let me hold something. And you don't never see that shit back. Am I right? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to keep it real. I love my family unconditionally, but I'm going to tell you something. I have family members that have come over and do not know how to leave. Anybody like that? Yeah. Yeah. I thought the ass was gone because they went out the front door, but uh-uh. Uh, they went out and smoked cigarettes. You motherfucking right. <laughs> they smoking my cigarettes on the porch. <laughs> Nigga. What's up with that? Straight up. But I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to repeat it again because I don't want you to think I'm mean. I love my family unconditionally. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm grown now. I'm grown. So if I'm in my house, uh-huh, smoking my weed, and I happen to look out the window and see a family member coming, oh, baby, i got to pull the Jehovah Witness on your ass. I'm not opening my door. I'm turning down my phone because guess what? <laughs> Grandma gonna have to catch the bus home, nigga. I am not sharing my weed on that day. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh-uh. But I'm gonna tell you something. If you cannot get along with your family, you better hope that you have some good neighbors. I have some real good neighbors. I'm appreciative of my neighbors. I have these two gay neighbors that just moved in next door and I do not hate, okay? They come over to introduce themselves, Neil and Bob. I know this session ain't even functioning on what I'm saying, but I'm like you, my brother. I tried to picture Neil kneeling and Bob and Bob ass. <laughs> Straight up, I did. But you know what? I have this bitty ass neighbor that live across the hall. In fact, that's what we call her, Miss Bitty. Now check this out. Miss Bitty came over to check on me. Wasn't it nice? Cause some of us have family members that do not give a fuck. They will not come and check on you, but Miss Bitty came and checked on me and check. She brought me some cough medicine. <laughs> Hold that thought. Where my weed smokers at? 
That's what's up. Miss Biddy don't know nothing about that loud. She don't know nothing about that. <laughs> she don't know nothing about that choker choker. She don't know nothing about that. But for my weed smokers, let me ask you this. Have you ever been so high? I mean, <laughs> I mean real fucking high. That you found your ass sitting at a stop sign waiting on that bitch to turn red. <laughs> You damn right. You sitting there just as stupid as a motherfucker. <laughs> Smoke the whole fucking joint. Wait, no, you, oh, you not? Oh, you ain't? <laughs> Catch up with my ass, nigga. My name's Queen Sylvie, baby. And I'm gonna tell you something. You can log on every Tuesday. You don't even need to download nothing to check out the Queen Sylvie show every Tuesday from 11 to 1 Central Standard Time, where we open the path and make a difference for anyone. I tell you what. You in the back back there, Vita, if you know how to make some good ass chicken, I'm going to have you on my show. Share that to the world. We need to know. So, okay? I said okay. All right. Damn it, wake your asses up. Y'all all look very good right now. I'm very happy to see you all here. Because those that's missing out on the seats right now, they're missing out on free. And yes, I said free. The water's still free right now. Wait till Trump come in, y'all gonna be like, talk about, nigga, can I get a ride? Can, can I? I got Uber in the house right now, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it up. Raise your hand, Uber. Raise your hand, nigga. Number one Uber driver in the world right here. This, this nigga, look, he take food stamps, panties. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You need a ride, he ain't gonna leave your ass hanging. I'm just telling you. Y'all having a good time? Okay, I, I'm not gonna hate because I did acknowledge the weed smoker, so where my drink is at, make some noise. Oh, alcoholic, alcoholic, alcoholic. But it's all good. Don't fucking hate because I'm talking about weed. <laughs> I mean, well, how do you think I still look good for, for 92? Don't I look good for 92? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I'm enough, enough with me.